welcome back to another Nail of the Week design. I am super excited how this one turned out. They are some badass flaming nails. Let me show you. Look at these. Aren't these amazing? I love the way they turned out. Now they are done in a matte finish and the flames are shiny with glitter so they really pop and stand out and I'm just having so much fun with them. I love them. I cannot wait to show you the outfit that goes with this. Of course, there will be a toe design as well. Even though I will be in closed toe, I will have a toe design to match this one. But you guys got to definitely try this one out. I can't wait for you to see this video. So let's get started on the video. Everybody take care. God bless and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hey everyone, so here's what I chose to go with for this week's nail design. Some rockin' flames done matted and shiny. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Nail of the Week. Getting ready to do a new exciting design. And this week we're gonna go rocker everybody. I'm gonna be doing black French tip nails with blue flames. And I'm working with the brush, so I'm going back to hand painting. Excited to do that. So my nails here have got a sheer pink on it. It's done with that Essies that I use in most of my designs when I'm doing a French look. And that one is called High Maintenance. And then for the black on the tip, and it won't be a perfect tip. It's going to be kind of zigzag for fun. And I'm using the black here. Uh, what is that? Wet and Wild? Black Cream. And then I will be working with acrylic paints. I'm going to be working with two shades of blue here. This one is called Cloudness. The other one is Cobalt Hue, uh, the Apple Barrel. And I will be using white and black to bring them up and down a little bit in color. All of these are from uh, Walmart, 50 cents. You can't beat that. And then I will be working with Robin's brush again. The RobinMosesNailArt.com is how you order it. It's called the wand. Here's the tip. And then I will be also putting in some glitter with this micro glitter that I got from um, Joanne Fabrics. It's a micro glitter, that baby blue. I'm going to run through it because I am going to mattify this design with the OPI matte top coat, but then through the flames, I'm going to make them shiny with the uh, Sesh Beach Dry Fast top coat. We're going to make them shiny where the glitter is. So yes, I'm excited about this design, you guys. We're bringing the rocker out in me. So I am going to get started on some of the black and I will return to show you that. All right, now you see I've got that black to the tip, but I've done it all jaggy and everything. I just want this to really be badass, everybody. So let me show you. No straight line here. We're just having fun with this one. So I'm getting out my black, and I'm just going to get some on the brush here. And this one, just do it however you want. So I'm just going to start down at the bottom here with this one and just bring it across however I want because we don't need this one perfect. Just make it jaggy and awesome. Cap your end, and then I'm gonna do the next one. Whoops, sorry, my paint fell over here. Okay. My table here has got that towel on it, and I've got a, forgot to have my little, uh, little stand that I put down that these sit on so they don't knock over on me. <laughs> and I don't have that little stand down, so the polish keeps knocking on me. So just, you know, all jaggy. That's how you want it, jaggedy around the edges like that, just to make it really cool looking. We don't need this one perfect. That's what I love about it. When you can do a design that isn't perfect, but it will look perfect when it's done. So that is what I've got going so far there. I am going to top coat these with Sesh V to dry everything up, and then we're going on to the flames. All right, now I have got the start of the flames. I went with the darkest color first, and then I will be putting in the highlights going through it as the flames change color. So let me show you how I'm doing this. All right, draw in. We're gonna go to the darkest color here. I did add a little bit of white into it, and I did put some water into my paint. So it's a little bit thinned down, which is the way you want it. And we're gonna get some paint here. Then we're just going to go, I'm just going to start right at this area of the nail where it went down. And I'm just going to set the brush down and I'm going to go to one side. 
I'm gonna go to the other and come up and kind of zigzag and make a flame. Okay, we'll go to the next one. This one, I'm just gonna kind of do a line and kind of just zigzag and just give it a sharp pull at the end there. You put it down heavier when you set the brush down. So we're gonna go like this, a little bit heavier like that. And then when you come up, you kind of lift the brush as you come up and you get a lighter touch then. So we'll do a little one over here. Just set it down and kind of go like this and pull. So that's that. And then we'll come over here and do this one. We're gonna set the brush down right here. Go around like this, go around, like I said, and then pull. And then as you come up, get a much lighter touch as you come up with it. Then we'll go over here. This is just going to be a line one, kind of zigzag and go like that. And then over here, put it down and zigzag, bring it up in the light touch as you come to the top. And then we'll do another one right here. Come up and release. So that is the start of the flames. Of course, it's always the darkest color, and then they um, start to fade as the color, you know, changes through the light itself of the flame. So we're going to put some lighter blue and maybe even like even light, almost white blue to the center. So I'm going to let these dry up, and we're going to go on to the next step. Okay, now you see a lighter blue, and now they're really starting to come together. Let me show you how I'm doing that. We're going to draw in here, get the brush. And now let me just show you the colors. My palette's pretty messed up here, sorry. This is just from some old glitter. But I started with that with a little bit of white in it. Then I added some of this blue into this baby blue. And then the next color will be this lightest. I added a lot of white and I might even do a highlight with white. So we have not used any black. I thought maybe I would need the black, but I don't. So we're gonna dip into that color where I added with the light blue and the dark blue together. And we're just gonna get some on the brush. Whoops, I actually got a little bit too much there. We don't want to get any paint into the neck of the brush. That's very important that Robin teaches with her brushes. That's how you keep them to last a long time. You don't want any paint in the neck part of it. So we're going to get this brush all cleaned up. Okay, it's cleaned up here. And now we're going to get a little bit of paint on it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So you just want to keep the paint down like that. You don't want it into the neck of the brush. Okay. So we're just gonna set it down here and we're kind of just gonna put a little bit of paint in here and just kind of pull it up like that. You kind of want it to have that light touch too like the, the flames were. And then just add the same thing and just kind of do a little line of them into your uh, flames here. And then I'm gonna go over to this one and same thing, just set the brush down very lightly and bring it up, okay. Now let's do this other finger here. This one's a little bit wet here. If you're working with wet paints, you would want them to dry. I'm gonna just go over this one, even though it's wet, I'm just gonna go over the top of it because I know how to work with it like this, but you would wait until these are dry completely. Otherwise, you're just gonna be pulling the colors. Okay, set it down and kind of go through and set it down over here and go up through like that. There we go. Then we're going to wipe the brush clean and get ready for the next color, which is going to be the lightest of the blues. I will get some done and I will return. Okay, now we've got like that highlight going through and that is going to be the lightest of the blues and it's almost white. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm not going to add any more to it, but let me show you again. We're going to dip now into the lightest color and I'm barely getting any paint now at the end, just a tiny little bit. And we're just going to the side of that lighter blue. So we're just gonna set the brush down and very lightly just go to the side like this and slowly bring that flame up like that. You don't have to go all the way to the top with these flames. Hang on one sec, you guys. I gotta move my tray over, over to here because I'm getting paint on my arm here. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. All right, so I'm just getting a little bit of paint again. And then you're just going to basically be bringing these kind of to the side of the nail, the side of the flame. I mean, you don't want it to be where that light blue is. You want it to, you know, just kind of go to the side of it. So just set the brush down very lightly and pull up. I'm going to turn my finger around to show you this. It might be a little easier. Okay, so we're going to set my finger down or my brush down, I'm sorry, and just go to the side of this and kind of pull up like that. See, it's just barely getting that highlight in there and you just wanna do that kind of to the side of it because it's more of a highlight now. So let's get a little bit more paint for this one. And again, just bring it to the side like that. 
that's gonna give you the, the highlight to the total look of the flame. So yeah, I like the way that turned out. I think these are really cool looking. I think they're turning out wonderful. So I am going to let these dry up and then we are going to, I may put a couple flames kind of flying up in the air a little bit too. I'm gonna to decide on that and then I'm gonna matte top coat these. So I will return when I'm going on to the glitter step. Okay, real quick, I just wanna show you, I did some jumping flames coming up through the design too. Just thought that would look cool, like dancing flames. And then this is what it looks like with the shiny top coat. I just wanted to show you that. You could leave it right here, you could add a little bit of glitter in, top coat it again, and go. But I'm going for a certain look where I really want the flames to be the main focus. Obviously they are with the black tips, but it's gonna be even more when I matte top coat this and then make the flames with some glitter and shiny. So I'm going to matte these, let them dry, and go onto the glitter and the shiny coat. I will return when I get to the glitter. All right, now I've got it matted and then I've got that glitter running through it. Isn't that beautiful? And then through the flames, I'm still gonna do the clear just to really make these flames pop. So let me show you what I'm doing here. I left one finger open to show you the glitter. So here's the glitter on this palette right there with the clear, the blue there. I have a, looks like it's mixed through with that purple, but that purple's all dried out. So don't worry about that. I'm gonna get my brush and get some of the glitter here. And then you just want to just kind of set it through the design here. So just go like that, and then like that. Just set it through your flames very lightly. You don't have to do a lot. You just want that little bit of glitter to pop in there. So just pick your little flames here and just add the little bit of glitter into it like that. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Oh my gosh, I love it. Now I do got a little bit of shiny through here, but I'll fix that. I made a little boo-boo there, so, but I'll fix it. But anyways, all I'm gonna do is add a little bit of the matte top coat with the brush. If you guys wanna know how I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take the Robin Moses brush and I'm gonna just dip into my matte top coat and just go right in between here so that that'll dry um, matte finish there. And then the rest, I'm gonna put some glitter uh, top coat out over them. So I'm going to finish up some of those and I will return to show you that step. All right. So now I've got most of them done and I've clear coated over the flames. I hope you really can get the idea of this to make them shiny. I did leave one open, which is this one right here. So if you can kind of see the difference, they're shiny to a matte. Now I've just put a little bit of top coat out onto a lid and I'm just dipping in. Let me draw this in for you guys. I'm just dipping in and with uh, Robin Moses' brush and I'm just gonna come up here and show you guys here. So I'm just gonna set it down onto the flame like this and just go like this. You do not have to have them perfect. You're just trying to outline kind of the flame just to give it that shiny look so that you got the matte to the shiny. And I kind of got this idea from a video I was watching yesterday, I believe it was, of Robin Moses. She was doing like a uh, love letter on flames, I believe it was called. And it was really cool. And I like how she did the idea with the matte, with the flames, um, you know, shiny like that, and hers were red flames, the, or the yellow, orangish red, or orangish yellow flames. It was really cool looking, so definitely check that out. But that's where I kind of got the inspiration for this idea, although hers was like a love letter. Hers is like burning uh, love letter. It was just beautiful. So if you want to see that, definitely check that out. Otherwise, this is what's left of this design. I am going to clean up here and get ready to show all of you guys the end product. All right, I am all done, and aren't these awesome loving the flames you guys and i love that matte finish with the shiny flames it's really making them pop and i did get this inspiration from robin moses she actually did some flaming love letters so this isn't anything to do with that but she did do it a matte finish and the flames were the orangish red color but she did it with um, a shiny coat i did add in the glitter and all that but i just love these you guys and of course mine are always to match an outfit so i can't wait for you guys to see that but definitely give these a try you can do them with the reddish orange flames instead i just needed the blue and there's a reason so all of you guys take care god bless and i will see each and every one of you in my next video